What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for stopping by the channel this afternoon. I waited a little bit to upload this because I wanted to get through everything else that happened on the weekend of Double or Nothing. Obviously, we had Monday Night Raw and SmackDown Live. I wanted to get through those two shows. I'm excited to bring you this interview, man. This interview was supposed to happen with Jason, a.k.a. Big Hodge. It was supposed to actually happen in his studio and we were all ready to do it. He was going to moderate the entire thing. I was going to sit down with Private Party, both Mark Quinn and Isaiah Cassidy. And things actually happened that did not allow us to sit down with both guys of Private Party. AEW stepped in and they didn't want the guys doing an interview before Double or Nothing weekend. So... I took the opportunity to go out to Vegas for StarCast, and I was hoping to sit down with both guys, and that's exactly what I did, man. I'm happy to bring you guys the interview that I wanted to a couple of weeks back. Both Mark Quinn and Isaiah Cassidy, formerly of House of Glory, we have a damn good tag team division. They were a part of it. And to actually see both these guys get signed to AEW, man, it's not only a great thing to see for tag team wrestling, but it's also a great thing to see just being there with House of Glory and seeing everybody work so hard and never let anything get in their way from achieving their goals. And this is what I, I strive to do with myself. So seeing these guys grow and seeing these guys mature and being at the commentary desk calling these guys matches, I'm fucking proud. I'm fucking proud that I got two guys that I used to call matches for in House of Glory now are on the grand stage of AEW and will be on weekly TV for TNT. That's a damn good fucking feeling, not only for everybody in House of Glory, not only myself, but imagine how they're feeling. Imagine how excited they are. Imagine their name, their value, their talents being showcased on TNT weekly. Imagine a match with the Young Bucks. It's going to be a great thing, man. They were excited about being at Double or Nothing. They had a great showing in the Battle Royal. They eventually got eliminated by Luchasaurus, but I was happy to see them. I marked out when I seen them, and they are two smooth characters, man. They are very cool, and I'm excited to bring you the interview. Private Party talking about how it all came to be, how they got signed to AEW, and what their feeling was all weekend in Las Vegas, what they were going to do after Double or Nothing was over, how they were going to celebrate, what they were going to be drinking, where they were going to be, and what they expect, hopefully, and what we can expect from... Private Party versus the Young Bucks when that does inevitably happen in an AEW ring, man. So this is Mark Quinn and Isaiah Cassidy. Private Party, Double or Nothing Weekend at StarCast. Here you go, guys. Enjoy the interview. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll see you guys tonight for NXT. I'll talk to you guys later. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here at StarCast, and I have Mark Quinn and Isaiah Cassidy. You know them as Private Party. Guys, how you enjoying Las Vegas so far? Oh, what the hell? Is that MJF? <laughs> it's... MJF is trying to sneak into StarCast, and they kicked him out. Security's <laughs> oh, uh, uh, unbelievable. Uh, how are you guys enjoying Las Vegas so far? Um, loving it so far. Loving it. It's great. Perfect. Just started, we ain't go out to party yet, but you know that's one of the objectives you got to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we get security like that. We got to work on our security. Well, it's Double or Nothing weekend, and I'm so happy for you guys. Signed to AEW. I remember I was in the building when the announcement was not formally made, but I found out. <laughs> what were you guys thinking about? Like, h tell me how everything came to be, when you found out, what you were thinking about the, the entire situation. Well, um, it happened right before it was a fatal four-way between me, Quinn, Red, Amazing Red, 
and Anthony Gangone. It happened right before like we went out and I got the email from Christopher Daniels and the crazy thing the first thing we did, we took a shot. Of course. A shot a shot of what? That's the most important question. Uh, I don't say what it was, but definitely we just took a shot. <laughs> and we had another one. And then we went out there to wrestle. So yeah, we we was we was grateful, we was proud, we was happy, we was everything. So that's why that night, you know what? I don't remember what happened that night to be honest. We were talking about it. We were really excited. It was like, yo, it's going down. Yeah, everybody was so happy for you guys. Uh, Brian XL came up to me, and I'm like, holy shit. I couldn't believe it. That's so awesome. Um, you guys are in the Battle Royal tomorrow night. Uh, the winner of the Battle Royal gets a spot in the world title match. What does it mean to you guys? And what, is, what does All Elite Wrestling mean to you guys as far as the landscape of wrestling? Everybody's so excited. Everybody's so hyped. What does it mean to you guys to have an alternative in pro wrestling? I mean, you got the guys like the Young Bucks running this company, right? And me and Quinn, we both look up to the Young Bucks as one of the best tag teams of all time, you know? And for them to be leading this tag team revolution and for us to be included in that revolution is going to be something dope, you know? And I say not for nothing, it gave us a new life because we was we were sitting back, just sitting there like, what's going to happen? What's going to, what, what's something's going to pop off? And next thing you know, we got this. So as far as being reborn, living again, that's what this was. It just, it just feels great. Look, look around. We don't know where we was going, but now the future's looking pretty good. Absolutely. Uh, you, you mentioned the Young Bucks. I mean, obviously, that's a match that a lot of people want to see. Uh, obviously, your first match in AEW, I'd like to see it. But when it does happen, what can we expect from Private Party versus the Young Bucks? Uh, definitely no super kicks. Definitely. Oh, yeah, of course. That's not invited. Super kick party. It's going to be all about the private party. Better yet, better yet, as far as, let's just leave it to the imaginations or what people is going to expect from that match. Let's just say it's a private. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had the pleasure of calling many of your matches in House of Glory. I love the tag team division there. You guys were a big part of that. Out of the teams right now there, being that you guys are in AEW and you're looking back on, on where you came from and just, you know, just with everything going on, who is the one team there that, that you think has the most promise to take that division and take what you guys have done and move, uh, it, to, move it to the next level? See, this is, this is where we have our little disagreement on. And we normally agree on everything because I'm more of a New York Wrecking Crew kind of guy okay. and okay. he's a... Uh, I'm going to go with main event. I think main event has it, you know? Wrecking Crew has it. Wait, wait, wait. If you had to choose Wrecking Crew or Main Event. That, you, you, are, you are familiar with both of them. I'm very familiar. You know, I, I seen Jay Lyon backstage at the Impact show. I told him exactly what I thought of his team. I want to see more of them. And Chris Seaton and Smooth Black, Blackman know that I love both of those guys. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay out of it. I, 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 I love both. Listen, listen, all I know is New York Wrecking Crew deserves a shot at the titles, I and I think that's, what's, that's what I think is going to happen. I, and I also, think, I also think main event deserves a shot at titles. They will, they will when they time come. Titles, main event never had a shot at the titles. Wrecking Crew never lost it. All right, who, who beats LAX? We do. Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, okay, I guess since we're not there. I'm gonna go, honestly, if I had to get my... Honest answer, I'm gonna go with um, Wrecking Crew. Oh, there we go, there we go. See, all right, see I all knew right. we could agree on something, right here. But I will tell you this I will tell you this. If the Wrecking Crew was to be House of Glory World Tag Team Champions, main event is taking it from them. That's a good, an that's a good answer. Hey, time that's out, a time out. You can't forget the Masons. <laughs> I, I agree, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shapiro. Uh, Anyway, final question, guys. I know it's going to be big. After Double or Nothing, where is Private Party party partying after Double or Nothing? I'm going right here to the Caesar Palace. I'm about to get me like five hennies. <laughs> give me like three Patrons. Because you know, it's, a, it's a celebration. I might even go do that tonight. Matter of fact, when I leave here, I'm going to go straight to the bar. Go to Gamble, lose some money, you know. For me, I, I hear um, SCU is having an after party. I'll be there. 
And I'm thinking about, you know what? Why don't we make our own invitations and we crash it and show them how to party? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We probably, we probably crashed that. Well, guys, private party, look out for them in all elite wrestling. I'm so proud of these two. Had the, the great pleasure and honor of calling their matches in House of Glory. Saturday, double or nothing, MGM Grand. Don't miss it. Private party, guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys.